Hi, I'm Captain Doug Stanford with Texas Fish Tips, the Shoei Fishing Report. Okay guys, out here on the end of these jetties, we've been catching those redfish all morning long. We've been limiting it out to 7 8 o'clock in the morning sometimes, uh, getting our reds in about 15, 20 foot of water into that south jetty, right on top of those rocks. Been doing pretty good. Cut menhaden, cut shrimp, live shrimp, sometimes we're using fish bites. Uh, those crab flavors seem to work pretty good, even the shrimp flavored ones. Sometimes we'll mix it with a big piece of shrimp and it works. But there's been some nice reds down there. We're using a knocker rig or we'll use a Carolina rig about 18 inch liter uh, and drop right down on those rocks. And you have to adjust your weight. Sometimes you get a heavier weight, like a three ounce weight. If that current's really ripping or if it's light weight, it's light current. Just match it to the current and make it better for you. Now this north jetty, we're still catching fish over here too. It's not just that south jetty, but both jetties is working. Uh, one jetty might work best for you. If it don't work, go to the next one. It's just the way it is. Uh, there is some good trout in this surf nowadays. We've been catching some of the trout down through on croaker. Uh, popping cork and shrimp, even some hard fish if we can get in there. But that croaker is a way to go if you can find it. Incoming tide early morning. Been catching some nice reds right down through here. You can anchor up right here on that current chunk of cur uh, croaker in there and catch your trout. There's a bunch of trout in there, but there's also some nice reds. In between this island, right here, this little mud bank, this little ditch, right here, it's been holding some nice trout. If you get right up next to the mangroves, there's been some reds. Menhaden, perch has been working, uh, either one. This is Big Slough, right down through here, it's been working real good. There's some red fish in there. If you throw in the middle of it, you might hang in with them great big old uglies. They like that shrimp and shrimp bites in there. Uh, but get right on the end of it right here, and sometimes there's some nice drum right in here on shrimp. Over in the old funnel, we call it the V. Right between the Klondike Islands, this whole area's been holding some nice mullet with those redfish in there with them. Now also, if you get over here on this old L Reef right here, this thing right here is the L Reef. We've been catching some nice reds on top of it with popping cork and shrimp. If you get right out here in this deeper area, there's been some nice trout with croaker. You can use a popping cork and shrimp or use artificials right in here, but there's still there's some nice trout and some reds. Outside Allen's bite right down through here. Wade fish has been starting to catch some nice trout with, with croaker. You can use your artificials if you want. Pop and cork or shrimp will work too. But uh, there's some nice trout in here. If you get way back on up in here in this back in this cove, way back in here, that old house. Got them pines right there. There's some drum hanging out there. Throw some dead shrimp on them and get you some drum. You get up on that bank, there's some redfish. They'll hit that cut menhaden, they'll cut that shrimp. They'll even use a cut perch to lead it. But there's still there's some nice reds up in that shallow, shallow water. Out there in front of number one, number two, number three, any of these islands right down through here on the incoming tide, we've been catching some nice redfish. Cut menhaden has been the ticket. Uh, pop and cork and shrimp will catch you everything. It'll catch the little reds too, but uh, menhaden has been the way to go. Or cut perch has been working really well on those redfish. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.